whilst recuperating from that knee surgery, I began to have problems with my prostate. I hate to be this personal, but I think this may be good for some older guys who may or may not listen to this. It'll happen to them. The Young and the Restless star, Eric Braden, is sharing some personal health news with his fans. On Friday, the 82-year-old soap opera actor took to Facebook to share a video explaining that he had recently been diagnosed with prostate cancer while he was recuperating from recent knee replacement surgery, sharing how his doctor told him about it. So I walked in and gave them my card and all that, and I said, I really am in terrible pain. I need to see a urologist right now. They were very kind. They let me in. And I serendipitously got into the hands of a urologist who apparently is very, very known and very good at what he does. And is one of the pioneers of the Eurolift. So I thought, well, may have come to the right person. Now I'm going to f tell you a funny story. As he was inserting the catheter into you know what, he looked at me and kept on looking at me. I said, anything wrong? He says, no, no, are you an actor? I said, yeah. He says, do you soap? I said, yeah. I said, what the hell is he asking me that for now? And then I said, okay, careful, okay. And I was in deeper. And he says, your name Victor Newman? I said, yeah. He says, when I came from Vietnam, I learned English watching your show. <laughs> I said, man, you tell me there's a this time? But maybe he distracted me as well. So we relieved the pressure through the catheter. Again, I had to wear this damn catheter and, or a bag, whatever it is. And then three days later, I came back and he took out the catheter. He says, let me take a look at your bladder. The same methodology used by the other urologist about six weeks prior. And he looks at it, looks at it, and he says, now saw it on the screen. He says, you have cancer. I said, whoa. Huh. Okay. He says, we need to, um, when I do the Eurolift, we'll take out the cancer. I said, all right. So needless to say, I was taken aback, but I was determined to deal with it. And then he planned the surgery for the Eurolift and the removal of the cancer. Eric continued on to reveal the treatment plan his doctor has placed him on. I then had the surgery and they removed the cancer and did the Eurolift. The Eurolift is a method whereby they relieve the pressure off the urethra so you can pee normally, you know? And then he said, after the surgery, he says, I think I got it all. I said, great, love it. So then he asked me to come back, I think a week later or something. And he looked at the biopsy report. It took about three days to do the biopsy report. And he said, you know, I think I got it all. And then he kept on reading and he said, oh, wait a minute. Amongst the low-grade cancer cells, there were some high-grade cancer cells. And I said, oh, shit, what does that mean? He says, well, I don't think it has penetrated the muscle wall, so I think we can treat it with immunotherapy. I said, what does that mean? He says, that means that for six weeks, once a week, we will put what is called BCG, those are the first letters of French scientists who invented this method of putting a fluid into your bladder. It's an attenuated tuberculosis virus or bacteria, I don't know, 
but reduced. And it arouses your own immune system to the point where it goes after those damn high-grade cancer cells. So I said, okay, shit. The soap star also shared his workout regimen that he's trying to stick to now with this newfound health issue before getting emotional with his fans, but showing how strong he's staying while fighting this disease. So that's where I am right now. I'm a little under the weather, but not really much. I work out, but reduced, in a reduced way. I hit the heavy bag, but not for as long as I usually do. I do some weights, but less weights. I do stationary bike, but less so. And that's a difficult thing to learn as an athlete. Difficult to learn to slow down. To do it, but do less of it. That, you know, there's always this ambition. I mean, you got to go hard. Let's do it. And I've learned now to listen to my body more and not go all out, you know. So if you have seen me a little under the weather, yeah, I have been. But I'm going to lick this. Okay, this bastard ain't going to get me. I'm going to get it. All right. And I'll be in top form again soon. So I still am happy to be able to go work. That I enjoy. It distracts me. I love acting. I love knowing that, that I entertain people. And yeah. I love your support. Means a lot. Okay? So whenever you have someone in the family who goes through this, support them. It can work out. I also know someone close to me was at cancer with chemo, which is tougher, much tougher. They have survived it. So nowadays there's so much advance in cancer treatment, you can survive it, okay? Eric is best known for his role as Victor Newman on the CBS soap opera, for which he has played the part for more than four decades and has also won an Emmy Award.